This technique is great for saving time and effort. We simply create a template we can reuse each time we want the AI to perform a given task. Let's say you give people advice on investing. We'll use a previous example. I have $5,000 to invest. Should I put it into stocks, bonds, or a savings account? So we start by breaking down your process. When a client asks you whether they should invest their cash in stocks, bonds, or savings accounts, you have a process you go through in order to deal with this question. Let's say your process is this. One, you consider the person's financial goals, risk tolerance, investment timeline, and current financial situation. Two, then you consider the risk level for each investment option, returns, sustainability, and best intended use. Three, then you match the client with the best option for them based on all the information. So we can tell the AI to follow this process in order to arrive at the best option. This is essentially chain of thought prompting, but here we're using it to create a template we can reuse. So that could look something like this. You are an expert in investing. Your job is to advise on an investing strategy. Here is the step-by-step -step approach you need to follow. One, ask the user how much they would like to invest. Two, Ask the user about their financial goals. 3. Ask the user about their risk tolerance. 4. Ask the user about their current financial situation. The investment opportunities to consider are as follows. Stocks, bonds, savings account. Assess each of these options with the following criteria. Risk level, returns, suitability, for example, best for short-term financial goals if you need access to your money quickly and without penalties, or best for long-term goals if you can leave the money in an account for X number of years. And consideration, for example, good for an emergency fund or if you are averse to risk. Let's run through that. Great. Let's start with the first step. Step one, investment amount. How much would you like to invest? Once I have this information, we can proceed to the next steps. Step two, financial goals. What are your financial goals? For example, saving for retirement, buying a home, building an emergency fund, saving for education, other specific goals. Step three, risk tolerance. How would you describe your risk tolerance? Low, I prefer safer investments with lower returns. Medium, I'm okay with some risk for moderate returns. High, I'm willing to take significant risk for higher returns. Step four, current financial situation. Can you describe your current financial situation? For example, do you have any existing debts? Do you have an emergency fund? Are there any upcoming major expenses? What is your current income and savings status? These details will help tailor an investment strategy that fits your needs and circumstances. Thank you for providing the details. Based on your information, here's an assessment of each investment option. Investment options assessment. One, savings account, risk level low, returns low, typically around 0.01% to 0.50% APY. Suitability, best for short-term financial goals and if you need quick access to your money without penalties. Now we have ourselves a program that can perform this task in seconds. You'll have noticed that I used a combination of techniques in that prompt. First, I gave the AI a role. You are an expert in investing. Then I gave it a task. Your job is to advise on an investing strategy. Then I used chain of thought prompting to teach the AI the step-by-step -step logic of how to solve this task. Then I gave the AI a set of steps to follow so it knows what input to ask for from the user. And then I instructed the AI to assess each of the investing options in relation to the user's input. I can now repeat this entire process without having to enter the instructions. I can just type in a new prompt, such as, please start again from scratch. You can create templates such as this for all the tasks you perform regularly and save yourself a serious amount of time.